Hi, this is Kim Morrison from Be Your Own Graphic Designer. And today I want to share with you some keyboard shortcuts in Canva. Now Canva have very kindly put together a presentation to show you how to do this. And you can link to this presentation and then go and play with it yourself. But I actually didn't find it instinctively easy to use. So I thought recording this video would be a good way of actually showing you how to do it. I haven't made it into a presentation because then I'd lose the ability to make some of the changes. Anyway, as I am recording, it won't let me do certain things, such as the first, which is zooming. Unfortunately, because it won't actually let me zoom, it is very easy to do it. Now, just a quick guideline. The instructions that are shown are actually for a map, which is the command, plus or minus in this case. Uh, down here in small writing, you'll see the instructions for Windows where it says control plus or minus. And that's all you have to do to zoom your screen to make it larger or smaller so you can see your design better. Now let's go on to what I can show you. And this is changing this text to all caps. So I'm going to click on that box and you can see up or lower case and it's command or control, shift and then the letter K. So I'm going to do that now. So control shift K and it's changed. And Control Shift K and it changes back. Couldn't be easier. On to the next shortcut. This keyboard shortcut shows you how to select an element behind another one and in this case we're going to change the colour. So all I need to do is click on this but the element that I do want is the circle behind. So to do that it's Command or Shift Control click and you can see it's actually highlighted the, the circle and I can check that this is the right one by checking the colour at the top corner here. And I'm going to change this to purple. As everybody knows, purple is one of my favourite colours. So that's very easy to do. I am going to change it back to the original colour, as I want the presentation to be in its original state, so you can actually play with it. This one is very straightforward. It's just adding a new text box. All you need to do is hit the letter T. And here you can see I've got a new text box. So I'll just start typing. It is my new text box. And as with everything with Canva, I can now change the size so it's a bit more visible for you. And if you hover above and grab it, I can move it around. I am going to delete it. But you can see how easy that is, just hitting the letter T. On to the next one. This is to move an element by 10 pixels. When you're moving things with the mouse, it's quite difficult to get them to be accurate. Maybe it's just my shaky hands. What I'm just going to do is click on this and to move it just by 10 pixels across, which is a very quick way of doing it, you just hit the shift and then your arrow keys. And I've just hit that by four. And I can move it up and down as well. And there it is, it's now moved. So you can play with that yourself. The next shortcut I'm going to show you is how to change the background colour on an image. So we're going to click on the image here. And now I've highlighted that. Again, I can see I've highlighted that because it's actually showing me, showing me the background colour. As instructed, I'm going to change the background colour, obviously to my favourite purple. I actually think you can read the writing better with the purple as well. And then I'm going to Control Z, and that's going to undo it. Now that's incredibly simple. If I want to redo it, I Control Shift and Z. But again, without having to fiddle around and go up to the Control Z to take it back to the original. Now the next one. This is actually very similar to the one we looked at previously, but that was adjusting it by 10 pixels. This way, by shifting and just pressing the arrow, move something by one pixel. So I just need to highlight the text, and then just hit, hit shift and the arrow keys, and I can start to move this around to where I want it to be. So I've now moved it to the center of the circle. And if I want to take it back, all I do is shift and put the arrows back here. Again, just a quick and a much more accurate way of doing it. Trying to move things by one pixel can be quite difficult. 
This is selecting multiple elements. And this is quite easy to do. We have to select all the elements inside the square and then move them outside. So to do this, you just shift and click. So you click on your first element and then you click on the next one and hold shift down at the same time. And as you can see, it's included it. This is a very quick way of putting your elements together. And you can see here, if I then click group, we group them and they'd be together permanently. That's an easier way of me moving them. I'll move them back into the center to make sure I don't lose any of them. Nicely centered it. And I can ungroup them. And so now all the items are there available individually. It's a very quick way of moving everything around in bulk. Unfortunately, this is another one that I can't while I'm recording. So it's uh, if you want to search for elements in Canva 1, things that you've uploaded maybe or that, that you used to use and open them in Canva 2, this is how you do it, either control question or command question. But it won't let me do it while I'm recording. This one I can do again and it's changing my word spacing and it's control alt that's command option and then the plus or minus keys whether you want to go up or down and on the windows machine it's control alt and then the up or down keys so i'm going up which is actually reducing my spacing as you can see now it's all squished up and if i go down that's spreading my spacing out in fact, I split it out so far now, it's on two lines. So I'll move it to a more normal type of spacing now and then leave it for you to play with. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. And I will post the link so you, so you can open it up in your own Canva account and have a play. Until next time, bye.